The Psychotic Time Wasters present Whose League Is It Anyway? Season 4. This season starring the fine prince is just as deadly as his skills. It's a grinchy one. Holy crap, here comes angels, and they do not look too happy. It's PTW Vogue. Put the points in the bag and everybody gets hurt. It's PTW Wizards Lizards. What you gonna do when Ziatora runs wild on you? It's Ivern. Serving up pain made to order. It's Aestus. And boots and cats, boots and cats, and 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 boots and cats. It's PTW Guitar Man. He's gonna break in at night and wreck up the place! It's PTW Kink. She has no idea why everybody's so aggressive. It's Daphios. Get on the ground, nerd! It's King Craig! What is up, everyone? And welcome in to the Season 4 premiere of Whose League Is It Anyways? The uh, original... Magic the Gathering, Commander Points League, on the internet, where everything is made up, and the points are the only thing that matters. Tonight, we have the Grinchy One, PTW Vomega, PTW Wizard Lizard, and I've earned it. How is everybody doing? Doing excellent, thank you. Very well, thank you. Yup. We're chomping at the bit to play some lead. I know. Behind the scenes here, we have been on break between the seasons for roughly a month, and everybody has been losing their shit. <laughs> Can you just start the season? It's such a tease when they release a whole new set and we build all these new decks. Oh my lord, I want to play. <laughs> but the wait is over. Season 4 has started and if you have not noticed from looking at the screen already, the theme is new Capenna. It's time to get gangster in this bitch. Looks like uh, we have new commanders. We also have the return of the Grinchy One. Welcome back to the league. Thank you, thank you. Happy to be back. You're always welcome here. Let's go ahead and start with you, good sir. It looks like you're running uh, Mari. Yeah, so I have Mari the Killing Quill. It's one and two black for a three two legendary vampire assassin. When a creature an opponent controls dies, exile it with a hit counter on it. Assassin's. Mer uh, mercenaries and rogues i control have death touch and whenever this creature deals combat damage to a player i mean remove a hit counter <laughs> from a card the player owns in exile if you do draw a card and create two treasures so yeah my deck is all about you know uh killing making contracts and uh killing uh people before they even know what hit them i definitely like the sound of that is that going to be your declared vorthos or theme for the season is killing Absolutely. contracts Absolutely. Excellent. Don't swing your shit at me, and maybe you'll get to keep it. Maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> mm, I like Jerry the way those out. do sound. Uh, do you have a target budget that you're trying to go for at this moment? Uh, well, I'm usually Mr. No Budget, so uh, I decided to challenge myself this season coming back with the uh, $50 budget, and I am coming just underneath it, I believe, still. Very nice. Indeed, that fifty dollar budget is hard to get to. I know. It's only. Oh, you like know what? Actually, I need to think. It's <laughs> excellent, excellent. Uh, so let's move it right along here. Vo, the fucking undefeated champion. What are you doing? Oh, yeah. I'm sure, I'm sure that will definitely not continue. Um, I try my best to make it not continue, but we'll see. I'm playing Giada the Haunted Pope. And this one's pretty popular. I know a lot of people who are building this, but uh, she's one in a white for a legendary creature angel with flying vigilance. Each other angel you control enters the battlefield with an additional plus one counter on it for each angel you already control. And she taps for a white mana spent only to cast angel spells. Excellent. I uh, just realized the angel wings you also laid out there. Very nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm <laughs> So, uh, uh, let me guess. Your Vorthos is Angels. Yeah, we're definitely on Angel Beats. Just gonna put some Angels out there and uh, turn them sideways. Sounds good to me. Nothing wrong with that. Flying wins. Wiz? 
Oh yes. Uh, what do you what do you got over here? Are you gonna be doing some plundering? Oh, it had to have been Jolene <laughs> Plunder Queen. Jolene Plunder Queen costs two and a red and a green for a two-two. Legendary human warrior. Whenever a player attacks one or more of my opponents, that player creates a treasure token. So a little bit of a politic in there. If you would create one or more treasure tokens, create an additional treasure token. So I get more, which is nice. And I can sacrifice five treasures and put five one one counters on Jolene if I choose to smack the face. So we're looking to uh, generate lots and lots of treasures and hopefully do something valuable with them. This deck very much feels like uh, like robbing a bank in GTA. Like, yes, I'm going to get lots of money, but this could all go south pretty quickly. So hopefully I'll get on my getaway dragon and <laughs> make off with lots of value. Well, does your getaway dragon fly? Because that, I feel like that'll help. <laughs> I have learned how valuable flying is in this deck, so... Uh, yeah, I, I, I added a couple dragons. I was really trying to get that $50 budget, but I wanted to show off some of the newer cards that are uh, very volatile in price right now. So I'm under $100, but it's uh, it's still very impressive what you can do without all those crazy expensive treasure staples. Well, that's nice uh, to uh, definitely get a lot of the new treasure cards some time to shine. So, uh, do you have a declared Vorthos or theme, or is it robbing banks, as you say? It's going to be robbing the banks, and uh, hopefully not uh, running into any scary monsters as we uh, okay. rob said banks. I'll take it. We got a bank robber over here. <laughs> All right, I've earned it. Second season in the league. Unfortunately, last season he did not place, uh, play enough games to place, but hopefully maybe this season he'll be able to turn that around, get a nice placement. What have you got going on over here? Uh, here I got me a uh, good old Zia Tora, the Incinerator. Stores for a three, a black, a red, and a green. 6-6 six, six, Dragon Demon with flying. At the beginning of your end step, you may sacrifice another creature. When you do, Zia Tora deals damage equal to that creature's power to any target, and I make a whole three treasures. So my plan behind that is to play big creatures, incinerate them, and make treasures, and deal lots of damage to either creatures or face. Uh, I also have a few threatened effects to take other people's creatures and chuck them right back at them. The main, uh, I guess the orthos of this deck would be uh, summoning a giant um, Lord of Extinction to both hit face and then either um, fling at one person or multiple for very big damage. We like Number big damage okay. over here. Yeah. Very big damage. Very big damage. Big creature, big damage. Okay. Big creature, big damage. Okay. Declared theme. I'll take it. We've got our players. Looks like everybody's ready. We've gone over the commanders, but none of that matters because the only thing that matters is the points. Vo! Do we have uh, some new point categories this season? What's going on with the points? So, we are adding in points category called the Godfather. Which is, if your commander can survive the entire game, you get five points. I don't see that ever happening, but <laughs> it's there. Uh, we're also having uh, a little bit of a sneaky one called Protection Racket. We normally award points for saving a player, even though it rarely comes up. But this season, if you save a player, you get additional points by stealing them from the person that you saved. Uh, we're also adding an assist category called Common Enemy. If you assist in knocking someone out of the game, you get one point for that. Um, what else? I think the last addition is uh, kind of hand-in-hand with budget. There's a deck building restriction that you have to have at least five creatures that share a type that are in the same gang as your commander. But for every additional five creatures that share a type with your commander, you get a point up to a maximum of five points. Grinchy, you may proceed to draw. Draw. 
We'll play a swamp and pass. Draw. Planes pass. Uh, I'll draw. I will drop down. Swamp and pass. I will play a mountain and pass. Draw. Nothing but a magic swamp. over here. Step two for a hero's blade. Crit the creature gets plus three plus two. Whenever a legendary creature enters the battlefield under my control, I may have I may attach hero's blade to it. Equipment four pass. Pretty Good. nice curve into Mary, yeah, I like mm -hmm. that. Thank you. Planes and we'll do the Cooper Giada. Not pass. Oh, yeah, I forget that you had us there. Uh, I'll drop down a forest and I'll pass. I'll draw. I'll also play a forest. And I'll tap two for my first getaway. Runaway Steam King. <laughs> That's a good card. Pass turn. <sighs> tap, draw. Play a swamp. Tap three. Why not Marie? Killing Quill. Trigger. I will attempt to move it to her. That's good. She is now a 6 4. Pass the turn. One tap draw. Do two for a swamp. Nice. And I'll pass the turn. Okay. Um, Love a good swamp. Uh, I'll play another swamp. I'll tap for three. And I'm going to play a Kodama's Reach to get a uh, mountain to the field and a mountain to the hand, and I will be done after that. I'll tap three, play a Curse of Hospitality on Ivern. I think you might have some good cards in your deck, and I think the three of us might like to play them. <laughs> so creatures will have trample when they attack you. And when they deal combat damage to you, you exile the top card of your library, and the player that dealt damage to you can play it. Pass turn. Or no, I'll swing at you. Uh -huh. They play this in the online. All right. Was it one or two? I will exile the, the uh, one damage or two damage, and I will exile the top card of your library. All right. Uh, it is a uh, ten Z toolbox story. No, oh, no, thank you, please. That can remain in exile. And pass turn. Inside. Draw. We'll play a swamp. I'll tap four. He drawn archive. Pass the turn. Big mana. I'll tap draw. Lanes. Yippee. Two for a mask memory. And I'll pay one to equip it to Giada. I'll uh, we'll go to combat, get Wiz for two. I thought you would never ask. Mask memory, I will draw two. And discard the Sunblast Angel. I'll pass turn. <clears throat> draw. Uh... Play a swamp and I'll tap for five, and I'll play a thrag tusk. Gain five on ETVs. Oh, All right, I'm done. Boy. I'll play a mountain. I have four mana, so I play the card that costs four mana. Jody, uh, Bo, I will swing at you with a three three and make two treasures. I'll block with a flump. Oh, well then we'll both draw a card. Well, somebody will draw a card. It might not be you. Let me think oh, about it. Yeah, right. it's target. Yeah, and I always uh, forget how that <laughs> card works. Let's let's pay off the assassin. Maybe let's give Grinch a card. I'll take that. That's not what I wanted. What I think I'll do is I'll use a treasure and cast a gold hound. Get a counter over here, and then remove three to make three red. And use the treasure to cast a stimulus package and make three treasures. He's going off. Oh. And pass my turn. Girl, I'll tap a black and two colorless for an Izumi Grave Robber. 
Ew. Using a grave robber, which states one on a black, remove target card in the opponent's graveyard from the game. If no cards are in that, if or, no cards are in that graveyard, uh, flip the Zumi grave robber. Uh, turns into Night Eyes the Desecrator Rat Wizard, so it loses its rogueness. Four on a black, put target creature card in a graveyard under my control. Well, uh, you can also exile the Kotal All right, I guess you did pay me off. Oh, I'll get that. <laughs> I'll get the Kodama's Reach and I'll flip it into Nizu, uh, Night Eyes Desecrator. Four and a black has that wonderful ability. It is a 4 2. Uh, we will enter combat and uh, we will swing Marie at Wizards 4 6. I will take six commander and then I will pass the turn, I think. Hunt Planes. Go to combat. Let's go two at Ivern. I'll create a treasure. Yeah, Damage okay. I will draw two. Um, uh, Riveteer's Ascendancy. Ooh. Can I cast the spells this with mana is over mana of any color? Oh my god. Yep. Okay, I'll think about that. The Mask of Memory trigger. I'll discard. Yeah, now what do I put in my grave? Light of the Legion, <laughs> main two. I'm gonna pay five and cast a Karmic Guide. ETB. I'm gonna bring back the Light of the Legion. The Karmic Guide comes in with one counter. The Light of the Legion comes in with two counters. I will pass the turn, and I will discard a Resplendent Marshal. Buy a mountain. The Wizards. I'm gonna swing at you for five. I'll sack, a I'll sack a treasure to make a 1-1, one, one, and I'll declare that 1-1 one, one as a blocker. Okay. Alright, uh, and I'll go 6 for Zeotor. Move to end step, the targeting the Thrag Dust with it. Yeah. Uh, this will get exiled uh, with the hit counter right, Grinchy, or uh, I don't know how that works. Okay. Yes, yes. I, it'll I be won't get the 3 3, and then I'm going to deal uh, 5 damage to Jolene, Plunder Queen. You still get the 3-3 three, because... Three, oh, do the I? Works. They hit the oh, it's when it leaves... The, it oh, it's leaves the battle. I for, well, yeah, I forgot it's leaves the battlefield. That's a blank thing. And I'll make three treasures and a 3-3. Three, three. I'll get in a sec. And I'm done after that. Hey. And drop. He just threw an ox at your commander. How do you feel about that? Hey, he's making me... I'm exiling all my cards! I'll tap six and... Jolene. I got a flump. <laughs> yeah, we know, we know you like got a flump. It. I'll give it to you this time. Yeah, can I just swing at you with my Steamkin? Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna use I'll do that, though. I'll block with my Flump. And I will target huh. Wizard. I'll draw a card. Make two treasures and pass. At the end of your turn, we'll Diabolic Edict Vow. Target player sacrifices a creature. Not my Flump! <laughs> yeah, sure, Flumpy boy. Hit countered. Alright, untap. They're all. Play a swamp, enter combat, and swing 6 4, death touch at Vogue. Squad have out. A 7 7 light of the Legion. I have a 6 4 death touch. I don't care. I'll take 6. I will take the hit counter off of the flump. It stays in exile. I'll make a treasure. I'll make two treasure. So it's a uh, 3 all day, and I'll draw. Tap Hedron Archive and tap two, and we'll cast Erebos Bleak Hearted. Nice. Um, we, we, he is off, and I will pass the turn. Untap. I'm going to pay the echo. Oh! I'm going to draw. Um, play planes. Go to combat. I'm going to go two at Wiz in the air. Mask of memory. I'll draw two. Discard of planes. Go to end steps, card. Windvala, the Preserver, and another point. Now pass. By a mountain, tap for three, and I'm going to act of treason your 7-7. Seven, seven. You got it. Dude. I'll send it right back at you, and you can just decide what you want to do with it. I can make a treasure. I'll, make... I'll take seven. All right. Uh, second main, I will tap for two and crack a treasure. Play the best card draw in this deck, Runic Armorsaur. 
Okay, then I'm gonna move to my end step and I'll stack the triggers where I will do the Zeotora sack first and I'll sack your dude. Do you have still one of those 1-1 one -one citizens, wizard? Not right now. You can make them. Uh, you want me to make one so you can? Yeah, yeah. If you make one, yeah, I won't. I won't hit anyone's face. I just want to hit something with it. Wild. Yeah, I'll make. Not... I'll make a citizen. All right. Yeah, I'll hit that. Yeah, I'm okay. not. I'm not. Uh, I'm not ready to start like throwing big damage. Uh, I'm done after that. I'm playing yeah, Grinchy has a I'm tap. I'm gonna tap three for a rhythm of the wild. Then I'm gonna sack a treasure and tap two. Because when we're done robbing banks, we're going to go get in a hot tub. Vigorating hot spring. That's going to come in with four counters. And these cards work well together. I'm going to tap a mountain, a treasure, and three. Cast a gold span dragon. Rhythm of the Wild will give it a plus one counter. And I'll give it another plus one counter from my monkey hot tub. So I have a nice 6-6 six, six flyer with haste in the air. And I'm going to swing it at Ivern so it has trample too. Uh, yeah, uh, I'll block with Zeator. I'll make four treasures and we'll trade. Pastor? Yeah, no. I'll tap draw. Oh my, how wonderful. I'm going to enter combat. Ivern, I will swing Marie at you for six. Yeah, I'll take the five. In response to no blockers still before damage, because you're the only one that haven't hasn't paid fealty to the uh, assassins. I I'll mean, I didn't you. hit you for seven. That's what I was paying fealty for. <laughs> or your combat creature. Uh. Sudden edict. Uh, target what? player sacrifice a creature. To your choice. You can sacrifice whatever oh, you I'll want. Just, uh, I'll just get the rid of the token. Get this beast out of here. Uh, right, uh, here, top card's a forest. Yeah, I don't care about that. So you take six. That's six <laughs> yeah. commander. And I'll take the counter off of the gold span dragon. I will make two more treasures going up to five, and I will draw. Pass your turn. Untap, draw. Play a planes. Two for a together forever. Good card. Uh oh. ETB. We'll put both the counters on Jada. Two, two. For an investigator's journal, you'll have two counters for these three creatures. Go four uh, at Ivern with Jada. Draw two. Card of flame. Now pass turn. It's um, I'm going to go for five. I'm going to play Mana Geyser. I got four. I have two. So 12 yeah. all day. 12? Okay, 12 red. All right. I'll use um, five of it. I'm going to play uh, Perforos the Bronze Blooded. Yeah, I'll tap for two. I'll use the other at all. Uh, I'll play Void Widower. Oh, so you can't even? Uh, yeah. In response. Uh, Put that on the stack, yeah. I'll tap yeah. two. Sack a treasure, and I'm going to cast Reckoner's Bargain. Uh, sacking the treasure has the additional cost to gain life equal to the mana value. Uh, wait, you gain life equal to the sacrifice permanent mana value, so I'll gain zero. Very good. Uh, but I will draw two cards. That's the most important thing. Land and land. That's all. It resolves. I'll do everyone a favor. Please remember this. <laughs> when you're taking your future turns, I'm going to cast Condemn on the Void Winnower. Let's so just put it on the bottom of the target attacking top. creature on the bottom of its owner's library, and they gain life equal to its toughness. Oh, I gained life. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Get that right, thing so out of here. <laughs> I'll go down to one. I'm going to play Sidisi, and um, I'll just have it sacrificed to itself to search for a card. Right. That's going to be a blasphemous act. <laughs> Keen damage to every creature? Yes. Perfect. That's just the right amount. I'm going to pay one to Together Forever Giada and pay one forever Together Karmic Good. Marie and Nizumi Grave Robber will go to the graveyard and I'll pay four life to draw two cards with uh, oh. Erebos. That's my turn. So we'll bring back Giada and then we'll bring back Karmic Guide, which will come back with a counter. And it will bring back Limbala. Yeah, buddy, keep your stack separate. Yeah, so I know. Um, and since uh, a player has more life than me, I will gain five life. Stack two treasures, pay eight for Jolene. <laughs> Come in with a one-one counter. Put another counter on her. Fuck it. Life is short. For <laughs> Ivern, when I swing at him for four right now, I'll make two treasures. I Maybe. am. Uh oh. <laughs> 
a swamp. Uh, oh yeah, I'm playing that lane. Uh, go to my second main, tap that swamp, sack two treasures, go to two, discard a mountain, cast seize the spoils. I will make two treasures, draw two cards. My turn. Okay, on tap. Play a swamp. Let's just get that out of the way first. Tap two and three for Gruesome Menagerie. Choose a creature card with converted mana cost one in my graveyard, then the same creature cards with converted mana cost two and three. Return those to the battlefield. I don't have one, but I have two and three. It'll be an Izumi Grave Riber and Marie. Excellent. <laughs> uh, Hero's Blade will see her enter and reattach to her. I'll tap two and we're gonna sign in blood. Roll two, lose two. All right, crack two. Go down to two. And one. We'll crest Necroplasm. At the beginning of my upkeep, put a plus one plus one counter on Necroplasm. Oh. At the beginning of my end step, destroy each creature with a awesome. certain amount of cost equal to the number of plus one plus one counters on Necroplasm. Dredge two. I will go to my end step and it will kill any zero cost. Yeah, and there is nothing, so pass it her. Untap, upkeep. Pay my cost, bro. White planes. Um, go to combat. Let's go seven to the Grinch. Yep, 27. Make this treasure and pass the turn. Uh, I'll play this haunting crossroads and I'll pass. I'm going to play a frontier warmonger. All right, okay. Whenever one or more creatures attack one of my opponents or a planeswalker they control, it gains menace. Um, Ivern, let's see if I can draw a creature off of your deck. Oh my god, dude, why you ever hit somebody else? Because I'm drawing cards when I attack you. If you have, you drew two lands. What are you talking about? <laughs> but this one might not be a land. <laughs> what do you know? They almost like I told you. I'll play a forest. I'm just going to... Slam this, uh, Slam gruel, gruel war chant. Attacking creatures I control get plus one, plus zero, and menace. So, okay. redundancy, and I miss the damage. That's fine. That's it. Gruel. Gruel enchantment's very cool. <laughs> we'll play a swamp. Necroplasm will get a counter, and creatures that are one mana value will be dying at the end of this turn. Um... I'll tap one for this ominous parcel. Tap two, tap it, sacrifice it, search my library for a basic land, put it into my hand. Pay five, tap it, sacrifice it, deals four damage to target creature. We'll tap two, we'll cast this Mind Stone. And then we will enter combat. But it's pretty low on life. We'll, we'll go it, Vo. We'll, we'll, we'll swing six it, Vo. Six it, me. I get menace, too. It, got, it gets menace, and it oh, has the death God. touch, and all. it has all the horrible, so horrible stuff. It's got all that horrible stuff, man. I'm taking six, I suppose. All right, move the counter from the last thing that you have in yours. Also make a I treasure will... unattacked. Oh, yeah, and I'll draw a card. Tap four, mutilate. All oh, creatures yeah. get minus one, minus one until end of turn for e for each swamp I control, which is eight. Nice. Uh, response: I'm gonna together for every limb ball and the karmic gun. Yeah, I'll sack five treasures to put five counters on each building. Jolene. Uh, anything that died that wasn't Jolene or the other two gets a hit counter, except for my stuff. Sadly, Erebos was on when I did minus eight, so he will die, but I will draw one, two, three cards, and I will lose six life. And then I'll crack a treasure down to four and tap a swamp, and we'll cast a Grim Wanderer. Flash. Cast a spell only if a creature died this turn. It's a three, five, three. So how I'm going to order it is I'll bring back Karmic Guide first. And it'll bring back Giada before the uh, exile trigger happens, and then uh, Limbot will come back from the Together Forever. Crack three. 
down to one for Royal Assassin. No, oh, no. <laughs> and then I'll crack the Black and Hedron Archive, and I'll cast the Discerning Taste, look at the top four, put one of them in the hand, the rest in the graveyard. Untap. Don't pay the Echo. Super <sighs> wacky. Throw him. I'm gonna go to combat. And... Let's go to Ivern's. Get that sweet, sweet treasure. Okay. And a card. Oh, that's a uh, lightning skeletal. Lightning skeletal. But if you play it, I'll have to get sacked at end step. Yeah, we already I'm not that. too interested in all that. Main two. Oh, that's not Pay seven to cast a Maria Shepherd. Okay. Play a Plains, trigger a Maria Shepherd. Bring back Karmic Guide. And Karmic Guide. Bring back the Splendid Marshal. I will pass the turn. Okay. Bro, stop it. Two mana, Arachnid Sigma. Just gonna play Zeator and pass. I will cast a healing technique, and I will have Grinchy demonstrate it. Mutilate. Alright, so that goes to my aim for. And I'm gonna get Seize the Spoils in a fucking mountain. I'm gonna tap three and discard. A mountain. Stonks. <laughs> yeah, <please> the spoils. <laughs> yeah, Ivern, it just makes sense for me to swing at you. So, here comes a 9-9 nine, nine with trample. Jesus. A, or, no, 10. I guess I take 9. 10. What what card do you got on top, though? Yeah, the last I could have got is the... Is that a professional Jackson. pace breaker? No, it's Jax's the... Uh, yeah, Jax's oh, the Jax's. something. Oh, Jax's. Jax's the yeah. troublemaker. Yeah. Yeah, I'll get a fucking Jax's. Yeah, I'll cast that. I'll come in with a counter, play a mountain as my land for turn, and I'll tap it, discard a forest, and tap Jax's to make a copy of Jolene, and just let it die to the legendary rule so I can draw a card. I'm a genius at this. I'll sack two treasures for an idol of oblivion. Tap that. Draw a card. Pass turn. Mm. Yep. Draw. Well. Play the swamp. Here comes Don't the real. You have to do it. Tap three. Whisper silk cloak. Tap. Hedron Archive, two floating. Play a swamp, three floating. Quietus Spike, tap three. Attempt to attach the Quietus Spike to Grim Wanderer. This could be you all. Remember, this could be you. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. I'll tap two, and I will attach, attempt to attach the Whisper Silk Cloak to the Wanderer, the Grim Wanderer. I'm gonna swing at Vaux for uh five. five. One, With a uh, death five, touch and then half two. your life total. Yes, sir. And uh, I will pass the turn. In step, my pay two and draw with the journal. On tap, we'll pay one, two together forever. The karmic good. And it'll come back. With four counters. And it'll bring back a Sunblast Angel with five counters. Fuck off. Destroy all tapped creatures. <laughs> a draw. Me and Grinchy have to fight now. I'm just gonna put on my headphones and play some loud music. Bobby, Daddy, you're fighting. I'll pay one to put Mask of Memory <laughs> on Jada. Go to combat. We'll send the team over at Grinch. How much is it? Um, six from Limbala, two from Giada. Six from Emeria Shepherd and seven from Resplendent Angel. Oh. Uh, Mask of Memory trigger. Play a Plains trigger. Emeria Shepherd bring back Victory's Herald. Four four Angel. That when it attacks other creatures, I control get flying and lifelink. I'm in response. Is that is that Emeria Shepherd tapped? Yeah. Killer. <laughs> is that a tapped creature? 
in response, I'll pay one of together forever. I'm gonna pass the turn. Yeah, Wizard, if I don't kill your Jolene, will you not swing at me next turn? That's a very tempting reason to not swing at you, yeah. I'll go for three. I'm gonna play this Cursed Mirror. Um, I'll copy, yeah, I'll copy the, the Victor Tales. Yeah, yeah, that one. Right. I'll make it a copy of that. Um, I'll just send a uh, four at Wizard. Gain a juicy four life. Uh, yeah, we'll chuck this at Giada. She'll die. Get me a whole a three treasures. Bird. Last turn. One. Tart. Drop. I'll just tap dust two up every for time. Robber of the Rich. Yeah. Uh, I'll tap one. Tap Jaxus. Make a copy of Robber of the Rich. I'll tap Idol of Oblivion to draw a card. I'll tap two and I'll crack my ominous sparsel to search for a basic land to put on the feet into my hand. Oh my god, I thought you were going to shoot me. Six. For a mana charged dragon. I will swing at Grinchy with the mana charged dragon, and I will swing at Vo with the two robbers of the rich. Okay, I'll die. <laughs> I'll die. Uh, before um, damage, before there's dies, a trigger. Yeah, yeah. Um, and before Gr uh, Wizard does anything, I'm going to take a counter off the draw card. And I'll sack it to draw a card. Tevin, you got it. And uh, exile the top two cards of your library. A inspiring overseer and a planes. I will pass. Uh, yeah. Draw four, cast Yada. I'm gonna do three to cast an unbreakable formation. Oh, okay. Put a plus no, one on the team and give them vigilance and indestructible. It's also relevant. Uh, yeah. Go to combat. Life link. Wizard for seven, fifteen, twenty-three. Twenty-three it is. Go to six. Play planes. I'm gonna pay one to cast a soul snare. They want to sack it to exile target creature that's attacking you or planeswalker you control. <laughs> and then uh, we'll use these treasures. One treasure left. We'll cast a Sarah Avenger. We get four counters. Are you done after that, by the way, Vo? Yeah, man. I'll play a Gadrick the Crown Scourge. And then I'll swing at Wizard for six in the air. And I die. Yeah, we're gonna sack it, and Vo, I'm gonna hit you for five in the face. Take three we'll, turns. We'll Trish. figure out. Pass turn. turn. Go to combat. Send it. Yeah, well, I die again. Did it. I had the most combat damage with sixty-three. And even if we took out the one combat on Grinchy, that would be forty-two. And then Grinchy had second most combat damage with twenty-eight. Uh, Liz has most commander casts with. Commander casts. Let's get to the voting. Um, splashiest play, starting with the Grinchy. Turn with um, uh, Ameria Shepherd is crazy. Yeah. And a mono white deck is just absolutely fabulous. So that's where mine's going. You want to give your one pity point to either Ivern or Wizard? I'll give it to Wizard. Uh, for. Um, the Curse of Hospitality. Yeah, that was really, uh, <laughs> that kind of like smashy. was that lasted the entire game and was relevant the entire, well, not relevant. It's a lot of really good cards. <laughs> well, I wouldn't yeah. say relevant, but. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't say relevant, but like, it, it hit a lot of lands, but like, you know, yeah, I mean, it gave things trample and, you know, getting that over a ZH4 tech is very relevant, yeah, absolutely. I think I gotta give uh, my one, or not my one, my two to the uh, the Mana Geyser turn. It's just what Mana Geyser do. It always <laughs> is splashy. I wrote would down little... Mana Geyser into Perforos into Void when we're into. Would have been a little Void more if I, if I got to chuck him at somebody or something, but no, yeah. No, no, no. Condemned. <laughs> Uh, and then the one's got to go to Grinchy, either for the Quite a Spike Whisper Silk combo or... That's what I'm voting for. The uh, very early Grave Robber, like, 
oh, I only have to exile one card from your graveyard for you to have no cards. So this will just flip. Now. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Yeah, I was like, wow, all right, that's pretty good. Ivern for the splashiest play. I'll give it to uh, the Grinchy's quietest spike for that one. Just because I thought oh, that card's funny. <laughs> I like that. And then for the second one, I'll give it to Vo uh, paying the echo cost on the. the, the <laughs> yeah. That's on a big the brain uh, thing. Strats. Yeah, I've never seen that before. It's very splashy in my head. I won't forget. Over to Wiz for the splashiest play. Yeah. I, those, the Void Winner and the Quietest Spike are the two plays that made me go, like, oh, shit. <laughs> I, I'm trying to decide which one is worth more points to me. I think I'm gonna go with the quietest spike one just because it took it took more parts to get it ready to rock and roll. And also, I hate Void Winor, but <laughs> it, it it happened. Honestly, you know what? Yeah, no, no. I I'm gonna do the one pity point into the mana guys or into the void winner but mad respect to the condemn thank you thank you <laughs> the one time in my life i've ever had a non-even costed answer to a void winner felt great <laughs> she's just like path to exile or something that costs more than i can afford <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's like yeah that's true a fifth of my budget chat voted for wizard's treasure chain play on to the best Vorthos, starting with the Grinchy. Uh, <clears throat> I'll give that to Ivern. I'll give the other one to Wizards, yeah, because I enjoy, like, it was very enchantment heavy. I enjoy that. I, you don't, I don't, you don't see, uh, rule enchantment heavy decks very often. He had like six <laughs> or seven on the field. Like, and they were all like Rhythm of the Wild and all that stuff. And like, it's yeah. all kind of like tied in. I'm going to give my two to the assassins. Like everything was cohesively very flavorful down to, you know, the draw spells of sign and blood and everything. So it's really yeah. nice. And I'm going to give the one to wizard for the, the plundering. Much plundering to be had. And over to Ivan for the... I got, uh yeah i'll give uh the first one to grinchy because i i did like this only find some card i haven't seen in a hot minute and uh yeah, i just found even though the commander was definitely a big l for me i enjoyed to see the especially the edict oh cards so i run that in my so patron good. izumi deck and those things are funny Thank and you. uh and then um yeah i'll give wizard for the second one <laughs> and the, the treasury gang my two points are gonna go to grinchy love the like not just the the murder and assassin theme, but like the contracts as well. <laughs> I love the paperwork that's involved in your deck. <laughs> it's pretty. I sweet. appreciate it. <laughs> and uh, I mean, gotta hand it to Vo with the angels. They are angelic yeah. and One scary. Sweet, sweet pity point. Mm. Mm. Chat definitely uh, enjoyed the holy angels. Last category, most valuable card over two. Regardless of mistakes I think together. Yeah, yeah. Regardless. Because you still had enough mana to do whatever you needed to do. I mean, it just it, it doesn't even matter. Uh, we have matter seen that card perform when you weren't cheating. And we know <laughs> it is. Oh, yeah, exactly. And a pity point. Curse of Hospitality. Fuck <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna send my two to Grinchy for Marie. Even though it's the commander, it oh, like, yeah. impacted the game more than any other card, I, I so think. Much. Making yeah, me does. tap out my own turns for Karmic Guide and like just like slaughtering a lot of Ivern's strategy, exiling his creatures. Yeah, it's like... it was brutal. Yeah. Um, and then I think I gotta give the runner-up point to Stimulus Package. Oh, yeah. Uh, every combat, everybody's like, oh, you have a treasure still? Okay, I'm not gonna waste my time to exactly. go over there. There's, not, there's no point. There's That's no why you point. play Flyers, man. It's the best propaganda ever. Yeah, it's actually, I'll just it pretty well. much was propaganda, yeah. 
and then over to Ivan for the valuable cards. All right. Uh, I'm <laughs> maybe really salty. So definitely the the fucking the curse of hospitality. <laughs> uh, and then uh, the second one. Um, oh, what was that? I'll give it to the condemn because you're out my head, ruin my path, yeah. my plans. Fuck yeah. I'm going to give two points to Murray. I was very much enjoying how much it was shutting down Zayatora and making Vo tap five every turn. It <laughs> work. But, uh, that, that's a game of magic I can get behind where Vo just has to pay five every turn. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Triple. Triple. Uh, so yeah, two points for Marie. Just, just great. It's whatever card g- was giving Vo lifelink, because that's the only reason you won that game. Victories Herald. Yep. It was a pretty last minute addition, but yeah, it's pretty sweet. Like with the board state that was presented at that time, if you didn't have lifelink, you would have been dead. Chat has voted for the curse. Fourth place with fourteen points. It's Ivern. Really just getting <laughs> shut out. Getting clobbered. <laughs> getting clobbered. Not winning. I feel like that's more than the total I had last time. <laughs> <laughs> um second. With twenty no, third with twenty eight points. We'll go to Wizard Wizard. Second place with thirty points. It's me. It's Vo. Which of course means coming in first, the Grinchy one, making a comeback. 32 points. Yo, it's Kink. What up? Appreciate y'all watching this episode. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up, a like on the YouTube video. Uh, it really helps with the YouTube algorithm and getting our video to show up more. So if you liked it, maybe other people will like it too. So give it that thumbs up. And if you want to see more content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button too. That way you get a notification somewhere uh, in your YouTube notifications about uh, whenever we got a new video going live. Also, don't forget to check out our Facebook page. That way if there's any other information that you might not get from subscribing for YouTube or for some reason the YouTube algorithm messes up and doesn't send you a notification, psh, like that would ever happen. You might get a notification about a post about a video or something else going on PTW style that you might want to waste your time on. And while you're at it, I know you got a Twitter, so you might as well follow us. The only reason we made it is so that you could, so go ahead and do it and make it worthwhile. It also will notify you about whenever a video goes live or other PTW related stuff. So if you really like the content, you want to follow that Twitter. And if you really liked what you saw, be sure to head over to the Patreon, where you can become an official time waster for just $1 a month and support the channel. All donations go towards helping us create better content, which we have tons of ideas for in the future. Once again, thank you all for watching. Peace. Just don't let it happen again.